I think our average age is about 30 right now. God willing, we'll have six more young ladies with us by the end of the year. Uh, we work very hard, and we work in silence, and we pray very hard, praying frequently throughout the day. Uh, about 20 out of our 25 sisters were homeschooled, at least for part of their lives. They have that give and take of family life under their belt, and they adapt very quickly to life in a monastery. We have some scholars in the ranks, but by and large, um, the, the study of Benedictines is oriented more toward conversion of life, my own personal life, rather than tackling a corpus of knowledge, for instance. Some sisters come from college, have college background, and some don't. Uh, but there's a whole range of occupations and talents and backgrounds in the mix. And geographically, uh, the sisters are from all over the map, from all the way from California to New York, from Texas to Montana. And we're an all-American community, but out of the six who hope to join soon, only one is American-born, so that will be changing things a little bit. There is... Um, a sense among those who come here of tradition. And these young women are reaching for something of a lost dream, and we are in a sense reaching back through time and conserving that way of life for the future. And, and these young women really want to be a part of it. It's uh, 1500 years old, this Benedictine way of life, and it has given the church thousands of saints. and. They, they want to be in that number and also uh, aspire to pass on that ideal. Our mission is to follow the rule of St. Benedict in the spirit of Our Lady as she was for the early church at Ephesus. She was um, tucked on the top of a mountain, not out in the open, but, but up where you know, she could pray in solitude and silence, praying for those apostles as they were scattered throughout the world preaching the gospel. We like to think of clothing the priests with our prayers. So much of our work is, is dedicated to sewing vestments for priests, and priests from all over the world, actually. Since they are other Christs, and God deserves the best, we try to make everything very beautiful for them and for the service at the altar. And we also have a retreat house for priests, which was just finished about a month ago and blessed by our bishop. Already we've, we've heard that the priests are really enjoying the peaceful surroundings and also the sisters cooking. <laughs> we ask all people to join us in praying for our priests, how they need our prayers. They have a very difficult, arduous task. We spend about five hours a day in prayer, and most of that is in the context of Gregorian chant within the Divine Office. Uh, but we can't, we can't be praying all day, and St. Benedict knows that so we are hard workers, uh, simple but hard work. It keeps the mind awake and still we can focus on God. Benedictines have traditionally always been tied to the land and the locale. And uh, that helps us never to forget or to be disconnected from the reality that we are dependent on God, even for things like food. We are aiming to be self-sufficient one day, and we're, we're on our way. We're getting there slowly. We have about 20 hens right now to provide for our eggs and a handful of Jersey cows who supply an abundance um, of milk, much of which we then turn into cheese, butter, yogurt, ice cream, any dairy product you can think of. The locale we live in here, it's very rural, outside of Gower, Missouri, which is about 30 miles north of Kansas City, Missouri. It's very quiet, very peaceful, and extremely conducive to monastic farming and gardening. 
and we work in silence. We only speak if there's something we need to ask or a direction we need to give pertaining to our work. And it's a full silence. It's not a negative empty one. Kind of like the pause before an orchestra starts playing. It's, it's full. We're, we're waiting there for something very beautiful to come, and that is the voice of Christ, the, the, the voice of our Lord, which comes to us and whispers. So we have to be quiet to hear it. Generally, we don't go out. The music we've recorded is a nice way to share our life. Since we don't go out, um, it shares our life with those out in the world and for those who cannot make the trip to Gower, Missouri <laughs> to experience it firsthand.